Okay, another local note. We have something on our Facebook page. It's the West End Performing Arts Center, and the City of Atlanta plans to acquire it very soon from Fulton County because it's such a pillar of arts and culture, a cultural hub, the West End. Fantastic. Congratulations. Yes. Yeah, so they're going to keep that tradition going. A lot of local artists featured. Good. Oh, and more sitcom love. I had to share this because I was scrolling Twitter yesterday, and it hasn't really made the rounds that much on um, national outlets, but I just happened to see a Tony Danza tweet, and it was this cast reunited. Let's take a look at them almost 40 years to the day <gasps> at lunch. Look at that. You're, oh, my gosh. You're looking at Carol Kane, Christopher Lloyd, Judd Hirsch, guys, was just nominated in his 80s for an Oscar for he, our oh, yeah. Steven Spielberg film. Yes, he was incredible in um, the one. Yeah, Steven Spielberg Fable directed Mans. about his life, The Fablemans. They've all, um, Carol was in um, one of the ones with the Nazi hunters or something. Oh. Like, they're all still working. Yeah, she and Kimmy Schmidt. Hunters, thank you, Mandy. They're very, very active, and, I mean, they've just kept it going throughout the eras and throughout the decades. Let's take a look back at kind of one of those last, it ran for five seasons, over 100 episodes. Let's take a look at Taxi. I think I'm going to take this as a sign to break away and start fresh. Yeah, maybe losing our jobs is a blessing. Yeah, maybe it's time to get out of the hack business. Maybe it's time for us to shed these old, lousy, nowhere jobs and find new, lousy, nowhere jobs. <laughs> Sounds good to me. <laughs> You guys, it was so, so good. Total I can't classic. believe 40 years later. I know. Well, wow. Some day. So maybe that's why they reunited for a yes. little L.A. lunch. But I always loved it on Nick at Night. Yeah. Oh, Nick at Night. Yeah. Okay. So Upworthy is a great Instagram account to follow. And it's because it's such heartwarming content. Very similar to It's All Good. Grandpa Notes. Now, this, he always packed the lunch for his granddaughter. Now she's 31 years old, but he still emails her lunch notes saying, you're so beautiful. Uh, have the best day. Come on. Grandpa. How special is that? Tell me about the good old days. I know. Um, so what that made me think of is kind of a unique grandpa, kind of intense, Grandpa Edwin on Little Miss Sunshine talking to his sweet granddaughter, Olive, the incredible, precocious Ab Abigail Breslin, who has since gone on to incredible fame. Yes. Let's see what he says to little granddaughter. Am I pretty? Olive, you are the most beautiful girl in the whole world. Yeah, you're just saying that? No, I'm not. I'm madly in love with you. And it's not because of your brains or your personality. It's because you're beautiful, inside and out. You guys, every time that movie's on, it is a must watch. Heart it is help. so, so good. Love. Funny, heartwarming, that was great. Amen. And yesterday, as we mentioned, Teacher Appreciation Week, so of course we shared that on our Facebook page. We want you to share a special teacher in your life, best shared. Thank you to all of them, especially those in special education. And yes. I thought this cartoon was really sweet. It said, is, your heart is slightly bigger because you're a teacher. Oh, I love that. Thank you, Trent. And guys, thank you for tuning in. Hope you have a terrific Tuesday. We'll see you right back here tomorrow. Don't forget to share your teachers, your nurses. We would love to highlight them each and every day right here on the show. Mwah. Today's Atlanta.